Hi there, ladies and gentlemen. It's me, Dr. Donna. Welcome to Turnaround TV, content created for you by yours truly. Without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, check out the content that I have for you. Question for you. How many more times are you going to fix what they broke? The great thing about real leadership is personal accountability. That means if somebody has messed up something, they've broken it beyond repair or it needs to be repaired, it doesn't matter. When you hold yourself personally accountable, you fix your own itch. And if someone is coming to you to keep fixing their problems, guess what? They're going to keep coming to you to fix their problems. And they're going to keep coming to you to fix their problems. And they're going to keep coming to you to fix their problems. And it's not going to be good for you. As soon as you start holding them accountable to fix their own problems, guess what? They're going to stop having so many problems that need to be fixed. That's the beauty of personal accountability. And that's the beauty of being a real leader. Got it? Good. I know what I'll do. I'll skip a step and then I'll skip another step and then I'll skip another step and I'll skip another step and skip another step and skip another step and skip another skip, 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 skip. And I want to make it all the way to the top and then not be prepared. That's the problem with skipping steps because you need to develop your muscles and skills to get up those steps. And when you take a step from here all the way up to here, you're not ready. You're not prepared. And that's not what real leaders do. Real leaders take it one day at a time and one step at a time because we understand the importance of skill development. Don't skip no steps. That's no bueno. Hmm? Oh, what time is it? Time for you to stop allowing them to make you go cuckoo. So you run around here like you cuckoo. And everybody else is saying, girl, why are you so crazy? Man, you tripping. What's wrong with you? Why are you acting so crazy all the time? Because you have allowed people to drive you insane in the membrane. That's not what real leaders do. Real leaders say, here is all your crazy cuckoo nonsense. Take that ish back. I'm not dealing with it. I didn't cause it. I didn't create it and I can't cure it. And I'm not going to be crazy because of you and your poor decision making and your dumbass plans and everything else that you're doing that's wrong in your life. And then you come in and doing a dump and run on me. That's not what this is, baby. Personal accountability is about holding yourself personally accountable and then pushing everybody else to do the same. And if they don't like it, tell them to take their asses back to Loserville. Got it? Good. So what, 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 so what? They think you're crazy. They never believed in you. And they're talking you out of things. So what? So what? So what? You can start without having a team. You can do it by yourself. And you know what's going to happen? As soon as you make it, as soon as you succeed, they're going to ask you, can you help me do it? And you know what you're going to tell them? Absolutely not. Real leaders do it for themselves. And if you want what I got and you want more, you got to do it for yourself too. So the next time they say, so what? You said, mm-hmm, so what? I got this boo-boo. Hi there, ladies and gentlemen. It's me, Dr. Donna. Today's turnaround risk is all about the breakup. You're going to break up with your biggest fear. You know what? This isn't working for me. This is holding me back. It's not bringing out the best in me. It's making me feel bad. And it's stopping me from doing all the things that I want to do. So biggest fear, I'm done with you. Goodbye. What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? What do you think?
we rarely ask that question. Well, not we, because real leaders do it all the time, but other people. Thinking is underrated. And thinking for yourself is extremely underrated. Because if you start thinking for yourself, you're not going to be programmed anymore. You're going to start making decisions that work out best for you instead of decisions that work out best for them. It's time for you to start thinking what's going to be best for you. Got it? Good. The reason why it's not working out is because you're giving all of your attention to the people outside of your home instead of the people inside of your home. It all starts at home. Everything. It starts at home. If you want to become your best, and if you're watching this video, you do because you're focused on becoming a real leader, it starts at home. Never give more attention to what's happening out there than what's happening in here. And that seems strange and it sounds crazy, but home is where it all helps you to become your best. Outside is after the fact. You do what you need to do at home while everybody is holding themselves personally accountable. And when you get out there, it's all going to work out. You got to start from your house. Got it? Good. Well, that's my time, ladies and gentlemen. But before I get out of here, just remember the turnaround. Tried and tested, true and through. The turnaround works best for who? You. That's who. Adios. Uh -huh.